Hello there people of YouTube, my name is Ben aka MagKingHD and today we are here with another squad builder. Now if you can click in the background that's just me going on to FootWiz by the way which has like all the stats there so that I don't need to go and look at my TV. But today's squad is literally it's based around one main man. Now this guy is probably my favourite player uh, in the Scottish Premier League at the moment mainly because I have been a Celtic fan since the very very start of my life literally my dad's always been a Celtic fan and that is why I think I have really gotten into um, sort of doing doing things within Celtic and trying to support them and I just generally think that they're a great, they're not doing too great at the moment but hopefully they should be able to bring it back and if they actually place this guy who I'm just going to show you right now it is Chris Commons team of the season Chris Commons anyway that is our main man here now Unfortunately, this team does not have 100 chemistry, but I think that a hybrid squad, anything that is above 90 is an acceptable hybrid squad. And the reason I think it's actually not on 100 chemistry is because our CDMs, or I think maybe another one, maybe our CAM, I'm not sure, but definitely our two CDMs are actually just central midfielders, which is lowering their chemistry, which then lowers the rest of them, I'm pretty sure, around them. But uh, we're going to get straight into this with our goalkeeper and our two centre backs. So our goalkeeper is Hart, alright? My bench is already there, that's why it's only Hart that you can see in the goalkeepers. And then our two centre backs, first of all, we have John Terry. And then second of all, we have Williams. Now, I've never really used Williams to be honest, but we're going to start off with Hart. Hart, you've seen him in the last England squad builder, he has... The greatest, he has great diving, great reflexes, great positioning, his kicking's quite good, handling's not too bad, and his speed is okay. It's actually greater than Manuel Neuer's, which is surprising since Manuel Neuer in real life is actually pretty quick. But um, then, as our centre-back, I'm not going to show you any of their like, main stats like weak foot and stuff, mainly because I've done it before in previous squad builders, so you can go and check it out. If you want to, I will leave a link to the previous squad builder in the annotations at the end on the end card but Terry has he doesn't have pace he's like 42 pace but that keeps him back a bit 84 defending and 83 hending which is absolutely amazing his passing's not too great uh, either but to be honest I wouldn't be deterred from using him because I just generally think he's actually a great player just to quickly show you he is 6 foot 2 so he is quite tall uh, and I just generally think he's a great defender now we've got Ashley Williams I think it's Ashley Williams I was right, it's Ashley Williams, we're actually just going to go straight into this. He actually has not too bad a pace, 67 pace for a centre back isn't too bad. 80 defending and 82 heading, that's amazing for a 6 foot guy that's actually a non-rare 79 player. So I think that's really good, his passing is also better than Terry's, it's a 63. And just generally I think he's absolutely brilliant. You know, I haven't used him before, but I'm sure he's going to be great. 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. Now we're going to move on to the right back and the left back of the squad. The right back that we have is Adam Matthews. Now the only reason I have him in here is because he has 81 pace and also just mainly because it makes up the chemistry with the Welsh players. And then in the right back, oh, left back, sorry I got that wrong. Let's see if I can find him. Baines, there we go. We're going to go for Leighton Baines. You saw him in the last squad builder. Four stats that are 79. That's pace, dribbling, defending and passing. He also has half decent shooting and heading, which isn't too bad. But I'm going to go straight into Adam Matthews. He is actually 5'10", so it's quite it's quite tall to be honest. Like He's nearly 6 foot, which isn't too bad. Um, he's had 11 owners, but hasn't actually scored a goal yet, which is a bit strange. But to be honest, for a 71 rated silver right back that's not too bad having four assists he's had one yellow card for someone else but i mean you know it doesn't matter really about yellow cards or things in this game next we're going to move on to our two center defensive mids now i don't actually have them as center defensive mids like i said i actually have them as center mids so this might take a wee while to find so i might end up oh no no it won't on the right center mid we have joe ledley and then on the left we have you saw him just there second one Wilshire Jack Wilshire now we're gonna start off with Joe Ledley the only reason that Commons doesn't have a green link here or does is literally because he doesn't have a Celtic card on the market anymore I tried to find one but honestly he doesn't actually have one so he's actually not too bad for a 75 rated player he's got four 
Uh, stats that have 75, it's pace, dribbling and heading. He has 78 passing, which is quite good for a centre defensive mid. And 70 defending as well, so he will stay back. If we go into his main data here, he's ha he has a medium high attacking defensive rate, which is actually quite good. He's 6 foot, which is also quite good. You know, I quite like having a tall centre defensive mid, so he can sometimes come in for the corners. He's done, he's only had two owners, one of them that is me, but... Honestly, he's done literally nothing for them. I guess he's just bought and sold on because he is only one of four that I found on the market. He has a two-star weak foot and a three-star skill move, so he's not very good for going to try and take long shots, but you can really excuse that for him. Next, we're going to move on to Jack Wilshere. You never saw him in the last squad builder, even though I was actually really thinking about using him instead of Gerard. He has 79 pace, which isn't actually too bad for a centre defensive mid. 72 defending, so he will try and stick back. 83 passing, which is brilliant. 85 dribbling. 68 shooting, even though he does actually have not a bad long shot. I've used them before. And 63 heading, which isn't too bad for someone that is 5 foot 8. Now, I actually remember in the last squad builder, I meant to apologise for this. It's Gary Cahill, not Tim Cahill. So I just wanted to apologise some at some point in this video anyway. But uh, I should have done it when we are doing the centre backs, I'm sorry. Anyway, weak foot is 3 star and skill moves is 3 star as well. He's actually scored 2 goals and had 3 assists for other clubs. I'm pretty sure when I had him he had scored 12 goals in 10 games. Which is actually really good for a centre defensive mid. But uh, now we're going to move into the 3 cam positions. Now you can see here... Commons is our first cam, you know, that's just, that's needed. And then our second cam, we have Morrison, mainly for chemistry reasons. And then for our other cam, we have Wayne Rooney. Now, I'm just going to put the striker in straight away since you know him. It is Daniel Sturridge. Now, I just generally like Sturridge because of his pace. He has 90 pace, 78 shooting, which is actually not too bad. He scored a lot for me. He scored 13 goals in 9 games. That's just crazy. Um, 83 dribbling and 71 heading plus um, 67 passing so it doesn't really matter though but you saw you also saw Wayne Rooney in the last in the last squad builder so I'm not going to go into him you pretty much know him but his main stat is the 87 shooting and then 83 passing and 83 dribbling anyway we're going to move straight on to I'm going to leave the big man to last I know I just said big man but it doesn't really matter that's just my accent alright we're going to move on to James Morrison now James Morrison is actually a quite a good all-rounded player, to be honest, for a cam. He has 74 shooting, 77 passing, 77 dribbling, and 70 pace. He's not very good at heading because he is 5 foot 10, but, you know, that's about that's about my height, to be honest. Um, but he does have 3-star weak foot and 3-star skill moves, which is quite good. I would quite, quite like that in a cam. He has medium, medium attacking defensive rate, which isn't actually too bad. But uh, got him for 350 coins, so he is quite a bargain. I would say he's like a hidden gem because he is actually a really good player. I've used him in squads before. Now we have the main man, Chris Commons here. Team of the season, 79 pace, 85 shooting, 82 passing, 86 dribbling, 51 defending, which I don't care about because he's a cam, and 65 heading, which is really good for um, someone that's 5 foot 6 in my mind. Now, he scored 36 goals for other people uh, and had 28 assists. I haven't used him in a game yet. You will be seeing, hopefully, some of his goals uh, at the end. But we have a 4-star weak foot and a 3-star skill moves, which is absolutely brilliant. But, um, yeah, so I think in total this squad cost me, I think, under 50k, which is actually really good for this type of squad. But I'm going to end this sort of squad builder off here you will be seeing the goals at the end i hope you do enjoy them if you do then please hit that like button and that subscribe button if you're new to this channel and please put in the comments below any suggestions you have for future squad builders i'm really looking for your support on this guys and i would just like to thank you all for 20 subscribers we went over 20 subscribers which is absolutely amazing you know i know it seems like a, a tiny amount to you guys but it means the world to me so thank you so much enjoy the goals guys
Ooh.